Hi, I'm Marlene and I'm back again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing my fragrance tray video. Hello and welcome to everyone. So glad that you're here with me and I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I think that was jumbled, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. <laughs> okay, so these are the fragrances and the mists that I wore this week. So I'm going to have to rearrange it to do the video, but that's all of them right there. Okay, so we're going to start off with the combo that went wrong. Okay, so I started off with Love Always Wins. I have the sparkly lotion or whatever it's called that goes with this. This is the Rainbow Waves and it has notes of Sunny Sangria, Bright Melon, Misty Waters. This is beautiful, it's bright. It has like a little bit of an effervescent type thing going on. And it is um, a bit aquatic and fresh. I like this. This is pretty. To me, it goes beautifully with the Pure Grace Tropical Summer. It has the same type of thing going on. It's fruity, sparkly, a little bit aquatic, fresh. Just pretty easy, fresh out the shower. That's the kind of vibe that these two give together. But then, this is what messed it up. Those two together would have been perfect to me. But then I said, oh, let me mix it up. Let me add some, the Talaferia Room 129. This is a cherry fragrance. It smells or yeah, it smells like I was about to say taste. It smells like Hawaiian punch, which is pretty. It's cute. I do like it, but I don't like it with this combination. It made it too sweet. If there's a possible way that something can be too sweet, this did it. It made it like super sweet Kool-Aid and it took away the freshness, the effervescence, the prettiness, the fresh out the shower, rainy day, for whatever reason. This is a rainy day to me. It took all of that away and just made it super sweet. So I'm going to have to figure out what I want to wear this with because I did not like it with this. So this was the um, only little combo that I wasn't feeling this week. It was just too sweet now we're going to get into all of the goodness that i enjoyed this week okay so i started off with honey passion fruit which has juicy passion fruit honey nectar coconut palms which is a pretty passion fruit bright watery type fragrance yeah, just sweet, easy, easy to wear. It's cute. So this is not what I usually pair Versace Bright Crystal with. But I don't know, for whatever reason, I kind of made a mistake and used the passion fruit. But I just went with it. And maybe because I was like, oh, it's pink, whatever. It's fruity. We're going to go with it. This has pomegranate and yuzu and ice it's pretty it's watery it's easy going or aquatic just you're gonna smell good you're gonna smell fresh shower clean that's what it's given beautiful for a hot day so it just made it i'm not gonna even say it made it sweeter it just made it a little bit more tropical so that was good then I said, I've been forgetting to wear this Juliet has a gun. So I just sprayed a little bit of this on. I was like, it adds some more depth to it. And that was good. I enjoyed that. So that is my Versace 
Bright Crystal, Honey Passion Fruit, Juliet Has a Gun, Not a Perfume combo. Okay, so I know you're not a stranger to the Coco Peach um, Versace Dylan Blue combo. So that's what I put on. It's the Peach Nectar White Freesia Shaved Coconut with the beautiful aquatic summertime beach fun fragrance from Versace Dylan Blue. Those two are beautiful together. But I wanted to add a little bit more, a little oomph to it, change it up a little bit. So I pulled out the Bright Peach by Maison Alhambra. Y'all can't see my facial expression, but when this bottle went down, oh, this added just a beautiful, spicy, sexy peach note so it did change it up a bit it wasn't as aquatic and fresh out the shower it added some deepness to it and, and a lot of peachiness to it it was just beautiful i thoroughly enjoyed this combo mind y'all i'm still going to work so <laughs> it probably was a bit much for work but it was so good to me and I have not pulled this out all summer. I don't think. No, I think I did. I used it when I did that series. But I haven't pulled it out since then. So that was like June. So I had to pull the good girl Escada Sorbetto Rosso out. I spoke about her recently in another video. So I was like, let me pull her out and actually put her on with the pink watermelon blast. From Victor no from Bath and Body Works. It's juicy pink watermelon, sugar strawberry blossoms, lime zest. This is a beautiful, sweet watermelon scent. Smells juicy like a sweet piece of watermelon. And this is watermelon wix mixed with pineapple. And I don't remember the flowers in this, but it is good. So these two were just really nice. And pretty and sweet on a hot summer day. We've been having a lot of hot days. We had some rainy days too, but I don't remember which days I wore what on. But this was good. I enjoyed it. So that's the Scada Sorbetto Rosso with Pink Watermelon Blast. Perfect combination in my opinion. I'm going to say that the Watermelon Blast and Pink Pineapple pink watermelon is perfect if you like it sweet because it is it is sweet juicy type combination so if you've been watching me you know i'm trying to use this one up i'm almost done so this is the black raspberry vanilla beautiful raspberry vanilla scent I've been enjoying this. It's fresh raspberries, vine ripened blackberries, vanilla orchid. This is pretty by itself, just so you know. But you know I like to layer. So I decided to pull out Modest Dew. I took her with me to, um, where did I go? Girl, where did you go? Reno. I didn't get a chance to wear her. So I was like. I had the decant ready, so I pulled that out, and I wore Modest Dew. I'm t it was like the f I was smelling it the first time. It's so good. I haven't, well, I got a nice little dent in there. Hope you can see that. But I it don't seem like I've been wearing it that much, but boy, this is good. It's sultry and sweet. It, and the um, berries with the chocolate. This is a beautiful fragrance. And it has a little, it's like a little bit bright. It's deep, but then it has some brightness to it. It's very pretty and long lasting. I enjoyed this. If you have this, pull this out. I think it's a year round type fragrance. It's very pretty in the evening. But as you know, I wore it to work. And I was just smelling good at work. I didn't spray heavy. I kept it light. But 
in the evening just put a little bit more on or in the winter time oh my god that's just a pretty fragrance and it was good together i enjoyed it oh and for those that don't know this is a middle eastern fragrance it's by afnan and it's inexpensive i want to say i spent when i say inexpensive i mean like less than 60 but i think i spent around 40 for this so that's modest do by afnan and I pulled out the good girl, Yara Taos. This is all off. This does not line up. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. I don't know. But this thing does not line up center. But anyway, that does not matter. This is a good fragrance. Um, Yara Taos. I don't have the other Yaras. This is the mango one. It's like a creamy, sweet mango perfume lotion because for whatever reason to me it it the scent comes across a little bit like a lotion but it's you know it's a perfume so it's not as soft as a lotion but it has like a lotiony scent to it and it's creamy and it's pretty fruity this is good i like this i think it's perfect for um, spring, summer weather, you may be able to, you, I think you can do transitional weather with this. I don't know how to be in the fall, but this is good. It's pretty. It lasts, I don't know, maybe four or five hours. It may get better as it sits, but this is good. I enjoy that. And I layered it with Golden Mango Lagoon, which is a pretty mango scent to me. This is Bright Mango kind of a tangy sweet green comes out in it as far as the fragrance it's pretty it's sunny mango salt water woods coral blossoms blooms girl does not say blossoms it says blooms this is good to me i'm enjoying it it is on my project use it up i had so many things in my project use it up i don't think i'm gonna finish all of these things some of them i may taking the into fall um and some of them i'm just gonna put up for next year we'll see how that goes but this was good if you have the golden mango lagoon and you have yara check it out try it together right now i cannot think of another mango scent that i have or that it's more that they came out with but I had I didn't keep up with all the new stuff that Bath and Body Works and uh, Victoria's Secret was pulling out this summer. But I'm sure it was some other mango scents that they had that you probably can mix and um, layer together. But this one is a good layering combo. If you have it, try it out. So last but not least, I have not put out the... Ooh, let me wipe her off. <laughs> the beautiful Dolce Gabbana, the one. Oh, my phone is uh, about to die, so let me hurry up. This is the one intense. Let's see. Yeah. Uh, what it says. Gold. Audi Parfume Intense. So... It's the one in the gold bottle. This is a beautiful, sultry, plum fragrance. I don't know what the, the deep notes in it. It might have some patchouli or something like that in it. I'm not sure. I just know I like it and it smells good. I layered it with Fall in Bloom. And I thoroughly enjoyed this combo you couldn't tell me i was not smelling delicious this is juicy plum wild blooms velvet moss it smelled really good for whatever reason i think i had better longevity last time i wore it but i don't think i've worn it since last year but it was still good it seemed like i kind of went nose blind to it this time but this is a beautiful fragrance. 
and it's not that expensive if you find it like on um fragrant oh my goodness fragrance x maybe joma shop or somewhere like that i bought this last year and i want to say i don't know i think i spent less than 70 dollars. i don't think it was 80 a lot of people don't talk about this but this is the 1.66 ounce like the I guess the regular size bottle because the other one would be the big size. Um, this is good. I think it's a beautiful evening or dressed up type scent. It's really pretty and I really do enjoy it with Fall in Bloom, which is a plum fragrance. People say it smells like Burberry Herb, but I always mix it with a plum fragrance if i know it has plum in there and i remember fall in bloom that's what i'm gonna pull out and i know this has plum this is pretty so that's dolce gabbana the one is the gold intense it does not want to, oh there it goes gold audi parfum intense so okay so that concludes all the layering fragrances that i wore this week and y'all i forgot <laughs> y'all just know when i was preparing for this i was like what did i wear but i got it together so this week i'm gonna try to be more on point with what i'm wearing and what's actually in this week <laughs> but i hope you enjoyed this somewhat quick video it's my weekly fragrance tray. I'm trying to get back on track. And remember to like, share, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.